Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're back again with some more Colossus gameplay. I hope you guys aren't getting sick of it. Don't worry, I won't do too many more of these. But I wanted to show you guys how well Colossus deals with Icarus. So the thing with Icarus is anytime you strike or parry stun your opponent, you're going to gain a fury buff. If you get more than eight, or if they expire, you're gonna take a degen that's pretty much gonna take you out. Now, what you can do to avoid that degen is to land a heavy attack. So if you are familiar with Colossus, you know why already that plays right into his strength. So as you can see here with the gameplay, we're parry stunning, we're getting the Furies, which will increase your damage by, I think, 10%. Uh, so you're getting that increased damage, but then you're firing off a heavy. So you're not ever taking that degen damage, and you're playing Colossus the way he ought to be played. So you're not having to fight in a different style with Colossus. This is just how you would normally fight with him. Now, this first fight was annoying, of course, because it's Ant-Man, and so a lot of our attacks are glancing, and so we're not getting as many crits. You're still gonna crit, but you're not getting as many crits as you could. All right, but that's this fight here. KO'd, not too long of a battle, but hopefully that fight shows you why Colossus is uh, so good for Icarus and we're not gonna go through the entire path uh, We're just gonna have a couple more fights. I want to show you guys uh, the fight against Modok But before we get there, we've got to deal with Hulk the ever-loving Hulk So now we're not having to deal with any glancing blows so we can just fight parry fire off that heavy and we never have to worry about those uh, Furies expiring as long as you continue to be aggressive and land your parries and your uh, heavies, uh, you're fine. All right, so you'll notice here, I'm just building up. I'm firing off that special two. Now I am running suicides. So every time I fire off my special, I'm taking recoil damage. So my normal way of playing around that is basically not throwing a lot of specials now colossus is suicide friendly so i can if i want to just deal with uh special threes he is not poison immune but he is bleed immune and he's very very tanky so down goes hulk I'm so sorry, Hulk. You still my boy. All right, so next up is the last fight of the video here, and it's against Modok. Now, if you have ever fought Modok, you know what a pain he can be. However, because of the style that Colossus adopts, he's not a problem, all right? Don't ask me why he just dashed back there it does that every once in a while these days. But I parry and fire off a heavy. I don't have to worry about that auto block. That auto block is what gets a lot of people in trouble. So if you can evade his special one, which I can, all you need to do is parry, fire off your heavy. And you're not gonna have to deal with the auto block or any of the other uh, stuff that Modok has to um, that he might deal uh, to you. All right, so here we go. We're getting down to the wire. Bait out one more. There we go. And here we are. 1%. Imagine that. And he's down. All right. So the next part of this video, we're going to go into Act 6.1.5. And this was by request. One of my subs left a comment 
asking if I could take Colossus up against this Proxima Midnight on this path. So that's what we're going to do. Now, first fight is going to be against Ronin. And of course, I'm going to use Colossus for all the fights on this path. So here you see the node that I have to deal with. We got Biohazard. But of course, Colossus is great against Biohazard. Uh, you just need to keep from hitting into their block because Colossus is not poison immune. So as long as you're just hitting them, you're good. Now, in this fight, you will see me mess up at least once. All right. Now, don't be alarmed by my health going down like I was because I had uh, already forgotten what the node said by the time the fight started. Uh, but that was part of the node. All right. And this fight goes fairly smoothly. All right. Uh, nothing too special about the fight. Uh, you will notice that I'm able to take blocked hits and not take a whole lot of damage because again, Colossus is a true tank. So already fights, not even, you know, that far underway and he's already almost gone. And there he goes. So. Ronin, not a big deal. Now this next fight, the next fight, he is annoying. Remember how Colossus, uh, well, how I prefer to play Colossus, how I believe Colossus uh, gets the most damage done. And that is with heavy attacks. But when you're dealing with Agent Venom and that tenacity, it's very difficult. So you're going to see that like right there. What I tried to do is I tried to parry and then wait to see if he's going to shrug it off with tenacity. But I don't know whether the timing was just off, but sometimes I'll wait and it looks like he's not going to. Then he does anyway. And I've already attacked and committed. So after a few times of that happening, you see here, uh, I just started doing that intercepting just uh going in you know no more colossus style don't worry about that right there you see i parried him but then i let go of the block too soon and then look at that i'm just all out of sorts all right so here we go i'm just like all right you know what we got to do this now if you go very quickly you can get him before the tenacity but as you can see i'm not getting in there fast enough uh, I'm also having to deal with that uh, brute force. So I've got to hit him. So if he's doing a lot of uh, shrugging off and then blocking, I'm going to be taking a lot of degen damage, even if he's not hitting me. So that's when I, you see I started just going in, saying, all right, just go ahead and hit me. I'll bait out your specials. And see, look at that. Look at how much damage that did. That was nothing. All right, so... That was me learning in the middle of the fight how I needed to fight that Agent Venom. I had to give up on my normal way of fighting with Colossus. All right, so now we come to the final fight of the video. And I do heal up just a little bit. Uh, I didn't really need to, but I want to do that anyway. This is an Incinerate uh, node, which, of course, Colossus doesn't have to worry about it. All right, and we're going to go ahead and see how Colossus does against this Proxima. Now, during this fight, I started to realize that it wasn't going to be quite as straightforward and easy as I thought, because we have to deal with that global. We don't have to worry about the incinerate, but that global that we were going to have to deal with. Uh, because, of course, with Colossus, I want to fire off that special two. And I'm not going to get power normally. That was the global power struggle, I believe it was called. All right. And so, as you can see here, we're just going in. And I'm starting to hit with regular attacks a little bit more instead of just doing parry heavy. Because I wanted to push her almost to the special two like that. 
And now I just need to get a parry in. All right. Hoping she didn't throw a special. She didn't. Parry. Fired it off. Boom. All right. Now we also have to deal with Buffet, as you saw right there. That's a lot of health. All right. So when I saw that, I'm like, okay, this is going to be a little bit more challenging because uh, she's getting a lot of health. Look at this. But Colossus does uh, gain more power as the fight goes on. So I get this question, whether Colossus needs to be awakened. The answer is no, he does not. But in longer fights, it benefits him because he has a chance to make them permanent. His armor up buffs permanent. And since he gets a lot of damage from those, that means that as time goes on, as the fight goes on, uh, he's going to convert more and more permanent. He's going to take less damage and he's going to start doing more damage. That's what his uh, signature ability does. All right. So you can see here we're doing fine. I went and did that a little bit early, hoping that I would get from, uh, a few more crits, but I didn't. All right. So I said, all right, well, you know, we just have to go in again and she's firing off her special one now which is what i don't want her to do i want her to wait and let me push her almost to a special two all right like that and i she fired it off again i'm just like are you kidding me because i don't want to fire my special one off i'd rather do the special two so here we go and then i just waited a little bit she didn't fire off her special parry here we go and she's down all right, so that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you got to see Colossus wrecking once again, and you enjoyed it. Uh, so take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.